O, we are Jen. Everything. B. B is in. Yeah, we were A. B is right. in ballistic. Or bullshit artists. Because uh, that's you know, what we're pretty much doing here. Um, <laughs> okay, you may be wondering why Ben is wearing two medals. Well, oh, why he's wearing I've... any medals at all. Oh. Like, really. Oh. Um, do you want to talk to us about that? Sure. This is Friday. Yeah. It's medal day. <laughs> yeah. It's self recognition day. And it's these actually are two... quite nice. I like that. Friday self recognition yeah. day. Yeah. So if it's your Friday out there, first mm-hmm. of all, it should be your Friday because you deserve a Friday today. Everyone deserves a Friday. Yeah. And if you deserve a Friday, then you're somebody who deserves these, probably, if you earned them. <laughs> and I earned them. This one was some national dance competition. We got first place. But this one, is a local high school competition where my partner and I won fifth place. Wow. How good's I'm that? I'm not going to tell you how many teams they were competing, but it had to be at least five. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's Ben's well-earned medals. Uh, this is my not-earned uh, trophy. Uh, I've never had a real trophy in my life, so I went and bought one secondhand and I'm going to get it engraved uh, first online improv in Australia. First and best. Why don't I just put best there? I don't know. I don't want to toot my horn though. You know what I mean? I don't want to. Buying I... your own trophy is not tooting your it's own horn. It's not at all. Really? It's, is it? It's, in any no, universe? I mean, the, the metal is like shaped slightly differently than a horn. Yeah. Okay. So uh, usually we would either be getting our suggestion from a book or from the random word phrase noun generator, location generator. But but now since the metal, since this conversation about metals, we're just going to use that as the suggestion, I think. We're going to do a ladder. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you want to... Do you want the medals in the scene? I I don't want to, I don't want them to influence the scene. I don't want a double yes. suggestion. I want a yeah, single double. suggestion. Let's yeah. Let's not be specific yeah. about that. You know, let's, let's not go be dead meta. Stars and fifth place drama students all at the same time. It's just too confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. How are you feeling? I just feel like I've been run over by a truck. You kind of look like that, if I'm honest. Should I be honest? Are we uh, Have we known each other long enough for me to be honest about stuff like that? Or should I say, no, no, you look amazing, like you look cool, like should I? What do you think? The Brandon? reason I feel like I, I feel like I've been run over by a truck is because everybody for the first time in my life has been honest with me today. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so okay, so so on one hand, I feel okay about that because you've already got a bit of immunity, like because people have been doing that. So now me being honest is, is just helping your immunity with that. But then I also feel bad as a friend because now I've just pushed it. Like maybe that's the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know. The back is broken. The barrel is bottomed. You the can... wind is out of your sails. Is that? Is there more more metaphors? More. I don't know. I just think that uh, obviously neither of us read the book. Obviously, nobody else is coming to the club, so we might as well make this a see how long we can berate Jared for festival, both for the day, how many hours, and how long you personally can go off on me and tell me the truth about how awful of a father I am, um, how maybe unfulfilling of a lover I am to my wife. Oh, wait, those are already covered. Okay, so listen, I just want to point this out. I, I don't know whether perhaps nobody came to book club because it's your book. You kind of like your book and then you want to do book club on it. Like people don't want to, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of tooting your horn a little bit. It's kind of like 
you know, like, you know, Sandy and Mandy and Chris and Dave, I mean, they're all aspiring writers that have never gotten to do what they wanted to do. And you've done that thing. And here you are going, everyone, hey, let's cri- let's critique my book, you know. like I'm sorry, this is not working for me. Really? This sounds like a compliment. Well, it is a compliment, but I'm just saying that I'm being honest. That's the new leaf that I'm turning over. I'm being honest. Honestly, I liked the book. I read the book. I, I actually liked it. I-, I-, I thought it was interesting. Okay, now we're back at the bottom. No, no I mean, I-, I-, I think it was really brave like to do an autobiography of yourself but do it historically as if you lived in another time. I mean, I think, you know, not not too many people would have the balls to do that, you know, and I think it's good, but I, I'm not sure not about... a lot of people have the balls to, like, get drunk and then try to be a unicyclist for the first time. Well, you and... you are a method writer, so... So I've chosen the method by which I can fall no further, which is to write a book about myself Mm -hmm. from a historical time and not only not sell a single one of those books. Don't be hard on yourself. The six copies that I gave the book club be Four of them are probably warming somebody nicely as kindling right now. One of them I'm using in my booster seat because I'm too short. No one else has told me that since I've walked in, but the bus driver told me that earlier today. And now. Oh my God, that's rude. Is it though? Or is it enlightening? Is it helpful? Maybe it was helpful that he told me that. Maybe it's helpful that you told me the worst insults that anybody could ever (laughs) give somebody for their book. Interesting. Okay. Uh, It was Interesting. Brave. These are the two most insulting words that you can ever tell an artist. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't actually know that. That they were the two most insulting. It was literally interesting and literally brave. I mean, that's like what that's what it was did it interest you more than a third rerun of beverly hills housewives yeah 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 totally was it braver than somebody asking out somebody on tinder that they know in real life yeah i'd say so Oh. Yeah. Well, thank Like I said, it was brave. Well, I just think that you're a great person. Oh. That's not... Are we going to eat all this? Because there's a lot of food. Like... This morning, my doctor told me that I was... hopeless when it came to the weight category. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it just, it sounds pretty funny. Like, that's a really, aren't doctors supposed to be sort of scientific? That sounds really opinionated. That sounds kind of gossip column. I don't know. There's just something in his eye where he just said he wanted to tell me the truth. (laughs) Oh, oh, BJ. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I haven't called. Um, it's all right. I miss book club. It was how'd it go? Was it good? Like, it was. It was interesting. Is that isn't that a bit of a shit word? Like interesting. Jessica was very. Those that showed up were very brave for having done so. Really. Oh, look, I'm really sorry, man. You know, something came up. I had to just, you know what it's like. Something comes up at the the garage and you've got to go, you know. It's... Thank you. Thank you. 
what? Thank you. No, I, Thank I'm sorry. Thank you for breaking the, the pattern. I've just had a day where everybody's been totally 100% honest with me. It made me feel like I was run over by a truck, but you with your your bold face lies right to my face. It's what, like what I'm, back, I'm, lying? Uh, I'm back. I'm back to normal. This is great. This is we what? are back in society. This is fantastic. Please continue okay. pumping my gas. Okay, I'm not sure whether or not I should. I'm not. I'm not lying. I had to go to the garage. I had to come back to the garage. I had to, like an emergency. I had to do the thing. You know the thing. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm... No, I get it. I get it. Yeah. You had to the garage and you had to do the thing. Things are so important. You know what I'm doing right now in my life? You're putting petrol in the car? Stuff. Well, I, 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 I was waiting for you to fill the petrol of your car, but you were so busy telling me the truth that I pulled it out for you. And then now I'm going to go home after this conversation and I'm going to do stuff. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, Everything BJ. Is fine. BJ, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit worried. I think you're you're a bit passive aggressive. I don't know. That's there's something going on. There's something going on, and, and it's been going on for a while. You oh, know, no. it's please, it's been, please. It's been going, going on for a while. You know, I know it's probably not the place. Again? You know, to to say anything, but oh no, we're going back to the truth. You, all right, here you, we go. Your wife me... has called me, told me all about what's going on in the bedroom, and and quite frankly, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's it's not great. It's it's not great, you know. But you know, we're just friends, you know. But she feels she can open up to me, you know. She can trust me with these things. With these things, oh, I can't really, I can't really wait around and talk and stuff. But anyway, I just, I'm just worried about. I just want you to know, I'm worried about you. If there's anything at all I can do. You know, just call me. You know, if if you if there's anything you need, um, I need you to be my therapist. I I need I, you to sit around and listen to all of my problems and help me fix them because I don't have money to pay for someone qualified. Yeah, yeah, I I'm a barber. I, I'm not sure exactly. That makes you even more qualified than most people. Than I thought. I thought you were just spending all your time working here at the garage, filling up my petrol. But yeah, now you're moonlighting job. as a barber. Wow. Yeah. Shh, That's don't interesting. Tell don't. No, it's, yeah. but it's interesting, and I think it's actually, and I mean that's interesting. A barber who moonlights working at a garage. I think, and not. Why is not that really, interesting? Well, the fact that you don't even care what people think about it—that's really brave. I think. I'm sorry, yeah. are you insulting me right now? Like, brave? No, I'm not. I mean, I think that's, I'm saying it like Jessica did. I mean, it's genuinely interesting and it's genuinely brave. Okay. You're, you're I did buzz cuts friend. and I put petrol in people's car. I mean, I, I, it's not really brave as far as All right, there. I'll take it. Give me, give me a haircut. This is the first five minutes of therapy. Give me another 20 minutes of barber cut and... Uh, I'll tell you exactly how bad I'm in, am in bed and I'll give you details. Okay. So you, you want me to get the stuff out of my car and give you a barber cut here now at, at the servo? Right in the back of the, this truck here. Yes, right here. <clears throat> this is really odd. And, and I'm, you know, I, I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm finished my shift, but this is just strange. Um, Can we cut back to uh, right. why don't you lie? And I'll tell the truth. Okay. Um. I. I've. I've got a date. I, I, oh. I've got to go. So. Okay. Well, I'm. I uh, totally understand. I'm insulted. Um. That you would rather go home, and drink Seven Up rather than talk to me. Oh yeah, that's below the belt. That's that's <laughs> below the belt. That's a little <laughs> oh, Jessica, I'm so sorry I didn't get to go to book club. That was a, his book was it, amazing. It was a bit. It was awkward. It was a bit awkward. 
to be honest. I, I loved that book. It was just, it you was read the thrilling. book. Oh yeah. I mean, I saw shades of him in there, at, wow. but of course, you know, it was like all the Chinese pirates and everything it, it, historical. It was just, God, it was so great. How Thank come you. you didn't come to book club then? Cause he thinks everyone hated the book. Like, Oh no. Yes. Oh, I was, um, so embarrassing. I was, uh, printing out a, a medal for him just because I was so proud of him for his <gasps> oh first book. Oh my god, book. that's yeah. so sweet. Oh, and there was a delay and the guy kept saying like, another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, but no, I mean, oh. I wanted to just, you know, uh, to, to show him like how amazing it was and how I look forward to telling the whole world about it, you know, like I think I mean, you know, we have a lot of material that we have to go through with the agency, but I think that we can easily find him a publisher and this New York Times bestseller, like for sure, like for sure. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So have you seen him since then? Because I'm sure he'd love to hear that news. He's pretty down oh, at the moment. No, actually. no, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him but actually, but I came here to talk, uh, talk to you because oh, okay. um, I felt in the group Mm -hmm. that he's um as amazing of an author he is he is my god he's amazing he's a little um can we just say he gets the attention right because of his brilliance it, it's just gonna happen um okay but you, but you don't really get the attention that you deserve wouldn't you say i haven't thought about it really what, oh my what God. kind of attention that's, that's that's so jessica that's so jessica um no i feel like you starting this club and bringing us all together to be such good friends as we are you haven't really gotten the credit that you deserve oh. so well i feel like he deserves you know a, a beautiful silver medal um that's only because he's second to you Wow. That's for me? This is 100% for you. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Should I put it on? No. Oh, okay. Just have it. No. Um, I, I just wanted you to be able to, to touch it okay. and feel it, and then eventually we're going to get it uh, in a plaque, and uh, I've arranged to have the mayor sign it, uh, sign a note. Uh, that's and, and, it. and we're going to put it up on the wall with you next to there and then hopefully get a picture because I want it to look nice and fancy for the picture. So a picture of the mayor. And um, we also have Martha Stewart coming into town. She's like one of our authors. And uh, I've told her already how much you inspire us. And she says she's been inspired by you. So she's going to uh, write another letter and, and she's going to have a picture. And then so you and her can hold, well, I don't know exactly how it's going to look, but you guys and the medal and the mayor and Martha Stewart are all going to be together. Mandy, that's um, unexpected. Uh, it's just a book, like there's, there's only, you know, a handful of us here. It's, it wasn't really a big deal, like putting putting it together. I, I Like the mayor, that's, that's, that's a little bit, much isn't it um i'm uh, i'm just glowing right i'm just glowing right now in your modesty for you not to recognize how much you have brought us all together i don't think that he actually could have written that book <laughs> come were, on mandy i mean come not on for the inspiration that he saw in your I, eyes this is <laughs> <laughs> did i make it about your character enough oh my god uh um, oh sandy i'm so sorry i didn't mean to break your window are, are you are you okay don't throw, don't throw the seven up what at me dude don't throw the hell? seven up at me i just what the I, hell i'm so sorry i knew that you would be home i knew that tonight was your special night uh with yeah. you and your world of warcraft and it's so Friday. i'm just gonna I know, I know it's Friday. I'm so sorry. You deserve a Friday. Friday, May um, Friday, May Friday. It's you Friday. Gosh, gosh, you really, you really deserve it. Um, so, sorry. Uh, I, 
I didn't want to disturb you. Uh, so, but I, I got you a gift. Yeah. So I tried to throw it. I tried to throw it at your window and I, and I broke it a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I pay for it. I just got a really big bonus when Tom Cruise just uh, signed with us. I, so tried, I, I don't need to know fine. the details. What, what did you just throw out my window? You said, well, Sandy, I just wanted to say that your honesty, your uh, honesty, your well, your your mix of, of like knowing when to be honest and when to be kind by you know telling little white lies and everything, it's just the the perfect blend of darkness and light that all of us need. Uh, like a little nice. bit of light, nice. I would say, like even even the dark of my life, because you know that sometimes things can get really down for all of us, and especially especially me, you. Yeah, especially me, you know, I can get so yeah. sad all the mm. time. Yeah. And so uh, I just went ahead and and I, I just threw this up here. It's a. What is it? Um, it's just a, 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 a an art piece uh, with the, the rock. Uh, you you, you do it or. Oh, my God. No, oh my God. No, no, it's it's a Van Gogh. But like I. Jesus. Uh, I just thought that. Well, Mandy, it's... where did you steal it? Did you steal this? Where did I you did, get this from? I did not steal it. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, Mandy! No, I sold a few houses, but what the... I just thought, I just thought oh, that god. you deserved. I don't. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I just didn't want to really bother you. So, uh, okay, I. <sighs> this is okay. You you hate this it. This is too, not no. Well, it's a Van Gogh. Can anyone just hate throw, it? Just, like, just throw it away. Just, just chuck no, it somewhere. No, I'm not like, going to throw it away, throw it, in, throw it into, like, the bottom of a river while you're thinking about, Man, like, when you're in Mandy, angry. what is going on? What is going on? You're giving people these these ridiculously amazing gifts. I mean, what 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 is this? What What is going on? There's something going on, Mandy. I feel like I've just been hiding my appreciation for the people that I care about. Because I just don't have the time. I'm I'm always spending time being busy and publishing and not showing the love that I have. Uh, okay. Um, that's a lot of affection. I'm not used to receiving that kind of That's so truthful of yeah, you. I, I just need to I need to be more like you, Sandy. Um, you're like a super rich, super successful, super kind of famous, kind of amazing person. You you don't need to be me. <laughs> you gave me a Van Gogh, okay? Like you, uh, you're fine. But I just feel like, okay, so that's it. That's all it is. You just want to show how much you care about people. That's it because I'm really worried. I'm a bit worried about you. Oh my god! And I, I'm sure you were getting like a, a all new score on World of Warcraft and everything. And here I am, just like ruining your night and doing. Yeah, everything. it's pause. It's on Do pause. It's, it's, it's all right. Oh, yeah. It's only a five minute pause though, so we're gonna have to wrap this up pretty quick. But yeah, I love you. I care about you. This gift is a representation of that. Wow. Oh, it's wow. a great paper oh. paperweight. Do they have paper anymore? I, I don't even know. Well, I mean, I, I can put it on my on my desk, definitely. Um, oh, my God, okay. that would mean so much to me. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, I was I was going to ask you about the Jessica Metal thing, but I mean now the ask Van Gogh me anything. Thing, ask like, me well, anything. Ask me anything. Well, no, it's clear now because I was just going to ask you about the, the Jessica, Jessica Metal thing because she's just it, it, she's still in shock from the whole thing and. Um, well, now you're just saying it's gratitude and altruism. So I guess I just got to. Can I just share a little dream with you? Sure. Uh, uh, it, it was it a minute? Like I got a, there's a minute. It's one down. sentence. Yeah. What if instead of me giving these well overdue gifts to you, Mm. And Jessica mm. is less of a shock and more of a new door where we can finally be real with each other. 
Okay, I'm going to have to sit with that because I, I don't really understand it. It's, it's kind of vaping. I'm going to get back to. But I, I'll think about it. Of course, like, that honestly, is much more important. I will, I will think about that. <laughs> there it is. Unbelievable. Well, thank you, Jessica. Uh, I don't think I could have done this without your authenticity. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And the bus driver's authenticity and my wife's authenticity and my child's people. authenticity. A lot yeah. of people and you setting me up for this success. Who knew? But it was your confidence in the writing that uh, I owe everything to. Well, I mean, look, I think really it's Mandy. You know what I mean? Like she never gave me that medal. I don't think I'd have the confidence to like really, 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 really be honest, you know, and really, really guide you through that. Like, I mean, it's a pity she's never going to get to see the book. But I feel like her spirit right. is. Because they don't, yeah. I feel like at some point, Maybe we should have done something, you know. I mean, by the time and she, she was in there, she just looked happy. She was like giving people things and and just right. But we weren't there when she was sleeping in the cardboard box, right? Well, did she I look, mean, look, did she look she... happy in her sleep? But I, because she might have just been shivering and her teeth shattering. Look, I try not to think about that because it's upsetting. Um. Sandy, she gave Sandy a Van Gogh. I mean, who would have known she was in a box? I mean, you don't, like, <laughs> you don't think that, you know. But, but I mean, I, I'm a little but, bit, I'm a little bit surprised you didn't put her in the forward or, or in the, in the acknowledgements or things like that. Like, I oh. wanted to, I wanted to, but she insisted that those um, blank pages, yeah, uh, be, yeah, those blank pages, she insisted that they be dedicated to this guy who gave her a free refill of Diet Coke at Denny's. Oh, right. Okay. That's her. That's so her. Yeah. It wasn't fiction. I mean, that, that was really important to her. Um, yeah. Anyway. I, oh, yeah. just, yeah. She, she really felt it was you and, and I feel it was you. And, and it's, it's these moments of kindness, whether it's truthful or not, that have really, propelled me to where I, I, I was once once I was on this book journey with you. So yeah, I, I think there's something in that, you know, it's just about being kind, like whether it's true or not. You know what I mean? Like Or is it about being true whether it's kind or not? Hmm. <sighs> well that's really what you got from me. I was being true, but not necessarily kind. But she was being kind, but not necessarily true because we didn't we didn't know she was in the box. Okay, um, real quick, I'm gonna. Okay, real quick, um, can you still hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna record us real quick. This conversation and okay. whatever we come up with, as yeah. long as as long as we make it look like it took place uh, during the Italian Renaissance, I think that people will find it really interesting. Right. I can't speak Italian, though. Is that going to be a Why don't you just try? Problem? Just just be brave. Okay. Um, sempre avanti. Uh, buongiorno. Uh, Se casa sedupa. 
Jessica, can I be really honest with you? Sure. That was really brave. <laughs> you, you cracked me, man. You cracked me. Uh, I was the one and, cover. I was the cover one. I was the one covering my mouth. <laughs> that was so dumb. My my year year seven Italian, uh, like year seven high school Italian. <laughs> Like it was avanti, avanti, sempre. Uh, like it's, it's fucking words that have nothing to do with each other. But yeah, um, wow, everyone, we don't know what that was about, but it was. There's something in that for all of us. I feel you know. There's a message yeah. that's there for all. Can I get real with our audience for a second? Sure. Why not? So I've had in my real life, not the best day. Mm. And people often ask me, what do I do if, you know, I'm just not in the right headspace? And I've gone from everything from trying to get myself into the right headspace to not trying to get myself in the right headspace and just showing up. The showing up is so hard. And so show up here and I just decide to go with the headspace that I have and maybe something interesting will come out of it. Maybe something brave will come out of it. Uh, I definitely think this was interesting. Uh, was it brave to do so? Was it irresponsible to do so? I don't know. But so my answer to what they say to, to that question is maybe just show up with what you got and see if something comes out of it, some kind of discovery, as long as you yeah. do so with some kind of energy and not just uh, the whole time, you know, which yeah. is jerky. Well, I, I feel like okay. utilize it. Whatever's going on, <laughs> utilize it uh, in the scene. Um, I For me, I think the highlight for me of this uh, ladder was your Mandy character because um, I really didn't expect to be, like, showered in praise and the uncomfortableness of my character was easy to do. Like, so it was really, um, it was really an interesting turn, like in, in, in of events. Uh, and and you know, clearly, I'm so comfortable with getting compliments that I had to kill that character off. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't just me, okay? Because she lives in a box. Well, she was kind of selfish. I mean, that box could have been used by someone else to help them move. Well, you know. What can you do? Hmm. All right. So uh, <laughs> uh, was there something you liked about it? Was there something that you enjoyed about it? Or are you still trying to process what just happened? I think I think this will be one where I watch it back, but I'll say that whatever character I throw out at the beginning, I'm trying to do something very different at the, for the next character. Yeah. And I realized that your character had all the first scene had been all about my character, the BJ person, Brendan, Jared person. And so I thought, okay, well, how do we make this about you? Like, and then I was just like, I guess we're just going to make it very much about you. And, you That's know, normally so I never use props or anything like that in my improv, no. but I know, know that yeah. you do. And so, yeah, and no, you no. had said something like, well, make sure to bring these in. So I said, okay. So I just found a way to use them. You know, it's like, I will just reward you with these and put something on its head. Right. In terms of not just being so negative about this guy all the time, just because that negativity, I think it just seep into. <clears throat> yeah boredom honestly for the audience and just yeah. listlessness and where do we go from here and so yeah yeah so I, you were saying that he was brave and interesting and and to have those platitudes actually mean something for the first time i think in history uh i thought was was pretty cool so maybe this can actually go somewhere you know maybe <laughs> he's bad in bed a bad dad uh and one of the best authors of all time yeah well often that is the case yeah I mean... like jackson jackson pollock he oh, was we're back like, to him. 
Well, yeah, no, he was really, he was a drunk, terrible artist, a drunk. but a good dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Made awful paintings, but was a really good father, you know? Yeah. So, like, he's definitely one of those. Okay. Uh, that's a callback for to last week. So, Armando, if you get a chance, go back and watch uh, Ben's um, angst about rants. <laughs> um, <clears throat> by the yeah. way, oh, oh, by the way, I was my rant was that he made thirteen million dollars off of a painting, and how insulted I was off that. I was wrong. It was two hundred million U.S. dollars. Right. Wow. And he closes his eyes when he does it. <laughs> Not out of talent, but out of just, you know, lack of care. I... But anyway, oh. but he's a great artist. He's a great artist. Anyway, who cares about what I'm saying right now? I hope that you enjoyed the show. Did you have any um, a any any further, like, thoughts and reflections about, like, you know, playing your awesome World of Warcraft guy that was... Oh, you know, uh, was... yeah, yeah. That was... I loved those little gifts that you gave me and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I've never played any gaming thing, so I don't even know if there is a pause, okay? <laughs> uh, but it's, <laughs> it's a pause and it's like you've really, really touched me, but I, you got like a minute uh, <laughs> before that goes off. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do, I like to play those really down to earth, not very in touch with their feeling male type people. Uh, I do like to play those characters. Um, and that was just crazy. Like the, the whole like service station thing, like, but it's a barber, but it's not a barber, but it's a barber, but it's moonlighting, but it's, a, you know, that was crazy. That was, that was pretty cool. I just like how we just, chucking shit in and just like incorporating it go yeah it's this it's this um and, and making it mean something too right so not just be like, <laughs> yeah yeah they do two things haha but you know say oh he does two things therefore what you know actually using it yeah yeah, yeah as yeah. the discovery too it's so much more yeah fulfilling i feel like for myself for my partner for the audience to discover than it is to invent anyway so. Yeah, totally, totally. And, you know, making that again part of the theme. So you kept, like, calling back to this brave and interesting thing and that that thematically was through the whole thing. Uh, I was pretty happy I called back to Friday because uh, we did mention before about the me, <laughs> the me Friday uh, and you put the idea there because you said, I know you're having your time or whatever, and I thought it's got to, you got to bring the Friday, like, be specific, <laughs> you know. That's great. <laughs> So, but I love little comments like that because then it kind of alludes to the fact that there's um, some kind of ritual for that character and that they're close to each other because they because your character knows the ritual of that character as well. Mm -hmm. So, like the Friday thing. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I love those little those little um, spicy sort of things. Just wanted to give a little gift, just a little gift. Yeah. A medal, a, a Van Gogh, yeah. <laughs> by the way, is that, what is that? Uh, this was done by a neighbor. Uh, right. I think he's seven. Right. And uh, they had an arts week open in Wanganui, New Zealand. And we wanted to buy some art for our house and wanted to support our neighbors and wanted to support youth arts. So we got this. And wow. uh, that was two three years ago and still don't know where to put it uh it's so it sits on a shelf and moves around sometimes and apparently gets on the internet well it did you say van gogh because you thought of starry starry night or no yes yeah and right. also it looks like it could be kind of done by van gogh yeah you know, yeah in, in a hurry yeah yeah definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right that's it uh do the spill thing subscribe, subscribe like yeah, As mentioned before, there was an Armando where we called back things from that show. So your experience should be and your heart should be incomplete until you go watch that. Hopefully mm -hmm. there's another thing encouraging you to watch another video. Next thing you know, endless feedback loop. You're up for 36 hours straight. And I'm then sorry. you, yeah. And then you're like, well, I have to subscribe now and wait for the next one. So go ahead and please do that. Ring the bell so you get notifications and like and subscribe. Um, because it helps the algorithm in a way that human beings cannot. Mm. We're all doomed. All right, so uh, <laughs> we are Jen. I think it's what is B. B? Oh, it's this. I think B. 
In sign language, what's B? I think it's that. B, I think. Something like that. B? Okay. Well, there's American sign language. It's different. Oh, I didn't know that. There you go. See, you learn things on this show, guys. You learn things. That's the most That's worth thing. a share. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>